What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on November 25th, 2018. As usual, I'm starting off with the focus on what is available now. On Hot Topics website, they do have their exclusive Grindelwald and Destral movie moment. And um, like I said, it is available at the time of this recording and I believe that this is actually an online exclusive. Now the black and white Pennywise with teeth um, pop and tea bundle with FYE, initially they were saying that this was going to be in store, you know they were really pushing this as an in store release, but it is on their website as well. The t-shirt sizes are somewhat limited, maybe some sizes will get a restock, but there's no guarantee in that. But again, at the time of this recording, you can check and find that on their website. Also on FYE's website, they do have the Rugrats Funkos, which you see come, they come there with that little pocket pop up or the mini pop there of Tommy. And then focusing back on Hot Topic, they do have that Kid Flash, and this is Kid Flash, the Young Justice version, as a super cute plush. Also with Hot Topic, they have Alphonse with kittens from Full Metal Alchemist. Now this actually has already been listed on the website. It sold out very quickly. I'm sure it will get listed again. That They tend to do that on the website. They list just a certain number at a certain time, you know, so they kind of release it in waves basically. So just keep checking the website if you can't get to an actual Hot Topic store and look for it there. But this does seem like it is going to be a very popular pop figure. And then tomorrow from the time of this recording is part of Cyber Monday. Um, originally, people thought this was going to be with Barnes & Noble, but now it seems like it is going to be legit with FYE. As a matter of fact, there already is a link for it, so I think this is pretty legit going to be an FYE release of Ron Weasley with the sorting hat. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow. Like I said, you can check the website, check in store as well. Moving right along here with a focus on Target, first of all, I do want to say if you missed out on the 10 inch Pikachu, do not give up on it yet. They have already restocked it twice online and who knows, they may restock it again. So just keep checking the website for it if you missed it previously. Now, as far as their latest uh, Friday release is concerned, um, the, the hint basically was on point with what most people thought, and it did turn out to be the 10-inch Green Goblin based off of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And it actually still is available right now at the time of this recording. Pretty easy to find on the website if you just search Funko on Target's website. And I will remind people, I haven't been sharing links as much as I used to just because I do think it's an important skill for a collector to be able to track down the things that they want online so I only am going to share um, basically I'll share links if I feel like it is urgent or something that is very difficult to find but in this case if you're interested in that it's pretty easy to find on their website and another figure that they have coming up I know some people are very excited about this is a 10 inch bullseye pop and they actually have a sticker on there and within this image it looks like some of the proceeds may be helping out St. Jude's which we would be really nice you know um, they help out with uh, basically terminal illnesses that affect children so I mean it's definitely a very positive thing we'll see if that pans out to be the case or not but like I said from this image I noticed that sticker there on the box um, for St. Jude's but again um, as far as this pop is concerned though no official release I know some people are hoping that it'll come on out maybe as the next Friday release I don't think it's going to be the next Friday release though because they already dropped another hint and this hint is not subtle at all. It says, Yippie Kaye action fans, this pop and t-shirt collector box will be a testament to your toughness and good taste. So again, like I said, if you know the movie, that is very obvious that this is a reference to Die Hard. So this is going to be a release as of Friday, um, November 30th. Again, this is going to be a box of pop and tea box basically related to Die Hard. Don't know exactly what character it's going to be or what sort of variant it might be. We'll just have to wait and see as far as that is concerned. Now moving right along here, Superhero Stitch is available for pre-order right now with Pop in a Box. This is a Pop in a Box exclusive um, and it does not release though officially until January. I think before I said February but it's actually going to be a January release but you can go ahead and get your pre-order in right now. They also have an option that if you decide to purchase this Stitch Too Faced tote bag, which I think runs around $50 or so, but I mean, you know, I don't know about the prices of tote bags and things like that, if that's worth the value or not, but I'm just saying that if you uh, decide to purchase that, then you basically get the pop right along with it. And uh, you can check out Pop in a Box's website to get more details as far as that is concerned. 
Also focusing here on Lilo and Stitch, you see that their vinyl two pack is available now. I know that um, Box Lunch had this on their website even though it's not exclusive to them, but that's just one place that you can go to track that down if you are interested in it. Also, as far as Spirit Spider is concerned, again, this is a pop that I'm very excited about, or I should say pops, because they do have that glow-in-the-dark variant as well. These may possibly be on Walgreens' website on December 4th. That's not 100% guaranteed, but it seems very likely, you know, that it's going to be online on the 4th. And if it sells out quickly, you know, don't throw your hands up real quick. I feel like too many collectors give up real quick when they don't get a figure right away. A lot of times figures get restocked, so just be patient with that if you miss it when it first gets listed. And then later on within December, it will be available in stores. So again, if you're not able to get it right away, don't say, oh, I missed it, it's gone. You know, don't have that attitude. Think positive and, you know, like I said, more than likely there will be a restock. Now tomorrow from the time of this recording, so this will be on a Monday, November 26th, Entertainment Earth is going to reveal a new exclusive. This image right here doesn't really give me much hints. I mean, you know, y'all can speculate if you like, but I'm just going to wait and see because, you know, it's just a day away, you know, so we'll find out exactly what is going on with their next exclusive. So some random bits of information here. It seems like Hot Topic could be getting a flocked Sirius Black as a dog. Um, that you know, it looks pretty legit there, but people sometimes will do things, um, you know, they'll take customs and put stickers on them and things like that. So that's why, you know, being a little, you know, we'll just basically wait and see about it. I'll just say that being a little cautious as far as that announcement is concerned. So don't take that as a guarantee. Um, I feel like I've been saying this forever, but uh, the park vehicle from Jurassic Park is on the way. It's actually starting to ship out. So this is the legit release finally you know it is starting to ship out so people that have ordered it be on the lookout for it and uh, i think it'll be hitting stores here very soon as well now this is very interesting here i remember the, um, the ultraman character mainly from being featured in other things and being in video games but you see here that ultraman pops are on the way including a barnes and noble exclusive ultraman definitely don't know about the release yet because this is not an official announcement you know as, as i learn more about this i definitely will share and if you're an ultraman fan you know um, let me know what you think about the character if you're a fan of ultraman definitely let me know about that down in the comments and then a figure I mentioned last time, we get a better look at it here, Buddy Elf with Raccoon. Seems like he's going to be a Funko Shop exclusive for their, you know, Funko's 12 Days of Christmas. I don't know exactly when that's going to kick off. Funko hasn't um, announced that just yet. Trust me, when I learn more about their 12 Days of Christmas, I will definitely let you all know. More than likely, though, they're probably not going to let us know about much about what's going to be available up front so we will have to kind of rely on whatever information leaks out but like i said as i learn more about that i definitely will update you all now in the last funko news i did share with you all these attack on titan figures that are upcoming um one character i did not mention though is erwin so you do get a uh, image here of erwin as well and uh you know so that's four characters that are on the way for attack on titan we will see if there's anything else on the way once funko gets around to that official announcement and yet another figure that I mentioned last time was Pusheen, and I did say that there were more Pusheen pops on the way, and you see that that is legit here, all these different variants of Pusheen. Uh, of course, no specific release date just yet because Funko has not done the full official reveal just yet, but it does seem like there is going to be a Dragon Sheen with Jim, which will be a Barnes & Noble exclusive. So of course, as I learn more about these, especially when they're going to release, I will let you all know. If you're a fan of Pusheen, Definitely let me know what you think about the designs of these. I don't know the character super well. I mean, I think the pops look fine. I think it looks true to the character. But uh, yeah, you all let me know. And also, if you can tell me anything about what's up with all these different variants. I mean, is Pusheen just a product or is there an animation or something? Like, just, you know, fill me in a little bit because I really feel a little bit lost looking at these figures here. So moving on to some upcoming figures here, um, one that I mentioned previously but did not have an image for, I don't think at the time, is a Jon Snow plus Daenerys vinyl 2-pack. Uh, of course, this being from Game of Thrones, that is on the way soon. Also, you see here, Box Lunch is getting an exclusive flash pop. This is appears to be a, a metallic flash pop in T-Set, which could possibly release on December 6th, so that's really not that far away. I don't have the original pop in my collection yet, and even though I've been saying I'm not a big fan of pop and tea sets, 
this is one that I actually like so I'm going to try to catch this actual release you know once it comes around. Um, again, Modern Family Pops are on the way. We get to see the first one here, Phil, and there's going to be other characters as well, of course. Jim and the Holograms, again, seems pretty legit that Jim and the Holograms Pops are on the way. Wayne Gretzky had been rumored previously. I don't think we had images previously, but yes, Wayne Gretzky is on the way. And also El Chavo Pops are on the way. And I know already people are hoping for some other characters related to El Chavo. We'll just have to wait and see. Remember what you're seeing here. Um, these are not like full waves of figures, so if, if the character is missing that you want to see, just be patient with that. Oh, one thing I do want to say here real quick before I move on, because I've seen this happen a lot in the comments, and I think it's mainly from new collectors. I've seen a lot of people that say that they wish Funko would do certain characters, and I have to let people know, well, Funko has already done those characters. So if you're curious whether or not Funko has already done something, you know, just Google it. Google it, look it up, and you might be surprised. They may have already done something that you're hoping that they have. So make sure that you do take the time to search it out and see. And then some more figures that are on the way here. Um, you see that Stitch and um, Angel have keychains on the way. I guess you could consider these uh, pocket pops, um, but they have that set on the way. And then there's also this other set with Pongo and Perdita. I guess that's how you say your name, of course, from um, 101 Dalmatians. Um, that is another keychain set that is on the way. And then, yes, Zoolander pops are officially on the way. Um, I really do love the first Zoolander movie. I never watched the second because I heard some pretty negative things about it. I don't think anybody was too excited about it, so I just decided to stay away from it. But yeah, the first Zoolander movie, still a big fan of that, and I do think the pops look pretty cool. I feel like they have got to do a variant of Mugatu holding his dog, uh, you know, his poodle. I feel like that has to happen, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Romeo and Juliet pops had been rumored previously, and that does seem legit. We see Romeo there, at least. And, of course, I would assume they got to do Juliet, but there's no image of her just yet. And then, of course, there are more How to Train Your Dragon pops on the way. And I think those des designs look really cool. They look much more... Um, detailed and intricate than the uh, other How to Train Your Dragon Pops. So looking forward to seeing the full release of those and what they're exactly all of them are going to look like. So that pretty much does it for the Funko news. I do want to encourage everybody real quick. I'm not going to share and like, read everything that's here on the screen. Some of this is information I've shared previously. But please make sure if you haven't already done so to check out my last video, FM's Funko Features. This is a new series that I kicked off on my channel. It's not going to have a like set release schedule I just will do it basically when I have the time and I have all the information um, and images and everything that I need but basically this is a way for me to highlight members of the community you know the collecting community so within each video I do want to um, share a featured collection from somebody a collector that is not on YouTube basically um, also I want to highlight a custom pop artist and then I do want to highlight a fellow youtuber so I'm gonna I plan to do that within each video from this series again if you did not check out the first episode of that new series please make sure that you check it out I will try to remember to link it down in the description so that's going to do it for this edition of Funko News. As always, I hope everybody got something out of it. I feel like even though this wasn't a ton of information necessarily, there's still some things to look forward to. Definitely different things that appeal to different tastes. So again, you know, just let me know if you saw anything within this video that caught your eye. Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for right now. Of course, I, I'm expecting some more interesting um, information to come out from Funko here pretty soon. So I should be able to do a midweek video for you all. But yeah, that's going to do it for now. As always, thank you so much for checking out the video. Make sure you drop a like on the video. That is very much appreciated. Make sure that you share the video as well for certain people. Of course, that's important to remember. I'm not going to say any more about that right now. But yeah, thank you again for the support. And I will talk to you all again real soon.